Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jake from todaysiphone.com and here are this week's biggest stories. Okay, now the biggest news this week, iOS 5.1.1 is finally jailbroken, untethered, it's out now, go download it, and it's awesome. Absinthe 2.0, the jailbreak tool was released and it offers untethered jailbreaks for basically every device running iOS 5.1.1. So that's the first, second, and third generation iPad, uh, Wi-Fi, or cellular data version, uh, with the exception of the new cheaper iPad 2 because it has a different processor in it. Also, the iPhone 3G, 3GS, 4, and 4S, as well as the third and fourth generation iPod Touch. Now, before we move any further, I should warn you that you jailbreak at your own risk and that, you know, it could void your app warranty or mess with your phone or whatever. But if you are looking to jailbreak your device, which many of you are, we have a super easy step-by-step -step how to on the site linked down below. So definitely go check that out and let me know in the comment section how Absinthe 2.0 works out for you and how your new jailbreak is. We've been waiting for this jailbreak for quite a while now and uh, it definitely seems like it's taking longer and longer to uh, crack these newer devices and these newer operating systems. Developers don't want to release a jailbreak if a new version of iOS is coming out soon because they don't want to uh, reveal that exploit in iOS software to Apple so they can patch it. And with the new processors and the new software and just the steps Apple's taking to prevent jailbreaking, it definitely feels like we're doing a lot of waiting. All right, moving on. There's been a lot of talk about the screen size of the next generation iPhone and we'll get there in a sec, but people seem to have forgotten that the iPod Touch is also out there with a screen that could do with a bump in size. This week we have a reported leaked front panel for the next generation iPod Touch and it measures 4.1 inches diagonally. Now my first instinct is to say that Apple's not going to up the screen size of the iPod Touch just because they want to, you know, differentiate it from the iPhone. But I had the same opinion when the Retina display was coming out. I didn't think Apple would throw the Retina display on the iPod Touch because they wanted it to be an iPhone only feature and they did. So I'd say there's a decent possibility that we could see an iPod Touch with a bigger screen. Now speaking of screen size, we have another iPhone screen size rumor this week. This time 9 to 5 Mac is claiming that Apple is currently testing two iPhone prototypes with 3.95 inch screens with a resolution of 1136 by 640. And what's interesting about this is that the screen actually isn't any wider. It's it's the same width, it's just taller. Making it pretty close to the 16 by 9 aspect ratio, which would mean 16 by 9 videos could play full screen in their native resolution. And that'd be great and all, but the whole problem of applications comes into play here. And I just don't think Apple's gonna release an iPhone with a different resolution than the previous versions just because there are literally hundreds of thousands of applications designed for the current resolution. I think it's much more likely that Apple's going to release an iPhone with a bigger screen, but with the same resolution to make sure that it just works with the App Store apps. And finally, if you've been checking out our YouTube channel or the site recently, you may have noticed a new video called Quiz Cam. Now this is going to be a Q&A video that's going to happen every week where Cam is basically going to answer your questions. Now these can be iPhone questions, tech questions in general, or really anything you want to know. You can ask him in the comments of the quiz cam video. You can ask him on Facebook. You can ask him on Twitter with the hashtag quiz cam. And he'll answer as many questions as he possibly can in a six to seven minute video. So if you're more interested in how TIP got started, what Cam's favorite application is, or what his goat's name is, definitely check these videos out. There'll be a new one every Monday. Okay, well that's all the big news for this week, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Before we go, I wanna leave you with a question of the day, and that is, do you think jailbreaking will be around forever? I mean, I know there's always gonna be people who can crack the software and hack iOS, but do you think Apple will ever be able to put a stop to jailbreaking or make it so it's so inconvenient that people just don't do it anymore? I think something would have to be pretty drastic for that to happen. I think Apple would have to open up their software a lot more because there's always gonna be the desire to jailbreak and there's always gonna be people who can do it. But as we've seen with these recent jailbreaks, it's definitely getting tougher. I'd love to hear your opinions on the matter, so let me know in the comment section down below, or you can let me know on Twitter at TIP underscore Jake. And as always, the links to everything I talked about in this video are in the description down below, so please go check those out. And for more news, views, and reviews, definitely check out todaysiphone.com.